Hey, hey, Tim's Tips here. I'm gonna show you how to install one of the smart thermostats that are meant for a house into your van or RV, including all the schematics and why I did it for mine. Here it goes. So why did I wanna play with fire here? Literally, you know, playing with a propane furnace and a very critical systems in the rig and uh, because I could, I can, and I wanted to save some money. So here, uh, with, I'm an HVAC technician, so I've worked with uh, heaters and air conditioners in the past. Uh, I was also a pretty good analog engineer and relay logic, and I knew that this was achievable through uh, just some simple relays. And uh, it's a house on wheels, so I figured why not make what I have in my house, uh, which, which I do have an Eco B in my house, uh, to put it in the rig. So. Here's, here's how I did it. So first I looked at the requirements. I said, what do I really need here? Uh, obviously safe and reliable is, is number one requirements. I wanted to save money. That propane uh, and uh, electricity are expensive and I wanted to uh, save on it. Uh, have a modern touchscreen device with internet accessible. You know, I could control it anywhere in the world with a touchscreen as well. Um, operate like my house. Uh, use common 120 volt to 24 volt AC transformers, which is a common uh, system in HVAC systems. Uh, be inexpensive, under 120, under $250, and I would also need a backup thermostat because I didn't totally trust this technology, not uh, myself, but the technology itself. So I compared the uh, Nest versus the Ecobee. This was several years ago when I was looking. Ecobee looked pretty good. The prices were good, reviews were good, and it could uh, you know, operate off of 24 volts AC just like uh, any other household thermostat system. What I knew needed to do is look for 24 volt uh, relays and look for ones that could convert you know, 24 volt AC uh, coils into just standard contacts. Uh, I call it the contactor type or millivolt type that are used in RVs which use a very simple contact, just on off type of system. Here's the marketing off of Ecobee's website about the smart thermostat. It looks very good. Uh, you can save a lot of money on the energy. You get a, another smart sensor so you can sense temperature in several sections of the, of the rig. And uh, just gives you a lot more comfort, I believe, than a standard one. And I'm interfacing to a suburban gas furnace. And I'll say there's, say there's a great divide between the household furnaces and the RV furnaces. I don't know why that is, but um, I, I vowed to resolve that divide and make just a couple simple relays and resolve it so that I could use a household thermostat in an RV. So to resolve this divide, I used two simple relays. That's all it was, and some wiring. Uh, these are Shrac relays, 24 volt AC to just simple contacts. So here's the Suburban uh, dual speed uh, furnace that I installed into my rig. And I call it, it's dual speed millivolt type. That just uses a plain contactor as I will show you here uh, to, you know, from R to G there. If you put a contactor between R and G, you get slow speed and R to W, you get the fast speed. And what I did is I have 120 volts coming in and it's going down to the RC and RH terminals of the EcoB. And these are just uh, the way it's wired in the back panel of it. And then I have uh, another, you know, the other part of the 24 volts AC goes to the C terminal. So this is, they call it common. And uh, so then once I got that hooked up, I also hooked it up to the one part of the relays. So a common part of the coil of the relays. So that's kind of my common, I'll call it my common bus uh, that the thermostat will be controlling. So the, so here the, here's the coil and when that's energized, um, it's just going to, you know, energize that relay here from normally open uh, to a closed condition. When the relay closes, the it'll energize between the R 
and the W1. The, the colors there are actually, uh, uh, they're colors, red, green, white, but uh, between the R and the W1, so that's slow speed. If I call for, if the Ecobee Eco calls for high speed, it'll energize between R, as shown here, and the W2 terminal here. That will put the, the uh, heater in high speed. Now the temperature at which the high speed is engaged is programmable on the Ecobee. For example, low speed might be two degrees difference and high speed might be five degree difference. So you end up saving propane that way. So here's a picture of the uh, relays uh, on the breadboard that I made and soldered them on the back with wires, solid wires, and then put it in a box. Alexa, set temperature to 75 degrees. The heat's set to 75. Alexa, set temperature to 78 degrees. The heat's set to 78. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope you join me in innovating around the RV space. Uh, there's a lot of old technology in there and I like to make it more safe and energy efficient and uh, more reliable. So thanks for listening and please subscribe. This has been a Tim's Tips video.